Welcome to Memorial Day Monday, the 27th day of May 2024. This day weather podcast brought to you by Wyoming State Parks with temperatures warming up across the Cowboy State. Wyoming State Parks and historic sites are gearing up with a season of fun and educational summer events. Visit these parks respective Facebook pages for more information. I want to give you just a, a brief video update on this Memorial Day Monday on what's coming up. First of all, it's going to be warming up. The last day of this three day weekend is going to give us by far the best weather across the region. There'll still be some wind, but the winds will be dying down from where they were yesterday and we really don't see much precipitation. Just a few locations might see a shower and throughout the week it's going to feel like an early summer pattern. We'll have some 70s, we'll have some lower 80s. We will see a little bit of moisture creep up and along just along and east of the Continental Divide. We'll start to see this tomorrow, more so on Wednesday, and that's going to lead to some afternoon shower and thunderstorm activity for areas along the front range of Wyoming and Colorado. Add on to the plains west of the divide, you'll be building in a warmer, drier pattern. We do see an upper trough again going across the northern tier of the U.S., just like it's done all month as we get to the end of the week. The satellite imagery this morning showing a lot of clearing in the western United States. So this is going to lead to the nice day today. You can see we still have the same pattern here in the North Pacific. This is a pattern that we've seen all month and it's just not stopping. Uh, so we're going to see the pattern repeat itself at the end of the week with the trough moving across the northern tier. But things are slowly changing but at a snail's pace in terms of the upper level pattern. When we look at where we're going to be today, that high comes on in. There's the storminess up in the Gulf of Alaska across the North Pacific, but a nice broad area of high pressure comes on in. So that's going to bring us a nice day. So these are our high temperatures today, 60s, lower 70s, the heat staying down across Texas, Arizona, Southern New Mexico here. But we'll see some of this heat get lifted northward as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday warming areas up. This is where showers and thunderstorms are going to form today. Again, very spotty, not a lot going on near the Gulf here. There's going to be more activity. There's going to be a little rain in the Dakotas, but going to be a pretty quiet Memorial Day out there. This is where the severe weather is going to be today along the East Coast in the Midwest, very little in the Western areas of the U.S. And this is where the precipitation will fall today. So we could have a few afternoon sprinkles pop up over the central Rockies, but nothing more than that. Temperatures tomorrow get even warmer. You'll see the heat building 70s across Alberta, Saskatchewan, then along the front range, then both sides of the divide warm up, going to have a real summer like feel tomorrow to the weather and we'll have high pressure still overhead. But this area begins to approach this next trough. It'll be bringing a front. It will help draw some moisture up. And this is where we're going to see a little bit of shower and thunderstorm activity tomorrow. Now more concentrated down here, but you can see Southeast Colorado going to get into the act. And then we're also going to see with that low up there, some showers and thunderstorms over Idaho, Western Montana, Eastern Oregon. That's going to set the stage for a bit more activity on Wednesday. So this is where tomorrow's severe weather is going to be. Notice there's a little tongue of moisture coming up northward and we've got this next trough in front coming in from the Pacific Northwest. So these two are going to be kind of working into unison. This northerly, this flow of moisture to the north, this front up here, and by Wednesday we're going to see temperatures pretty warm. Look at those 70s and 80s. Summer like weather out there, but here's where the thunderstorm activity does pick up. So you can see there's going to be an axis right here right along and just east of I-25, then wrapping back into southern areas of Montana, northern Wyoming, back here in the northern areas of Utah. So Wednesday is going to be an active day of afternoon showers and thunderstorms. And when you look at the risk, there's going to be a marginal risk of severe weather basically along that axis right there. So Wednesday's a day where we're going to have some thunderstorm activity on a bit more of a widespread basis. However, we'll likely see that moisture get pushed eastward on Thursday, and there it is. We'll have some return moisture back up here along the front range of Colorado. Drier air comes in here on Thursday. There'll be a little bit of a drop in temperature as that system moves across the north, and that's on Friday. So this will depress the jet stream a bit. This is a windy pattern on Friday. 
Temperatures will be a little bit cooler, but most of the weather in terms of the rain will again be up here in the northern areas. Thanks for being with us today. Have a good Memorial Day Monday and a safe one. We'll see you tomorrow.